Okay, today we're going to be talking about reputation and reach. Okay, the, this strategy really does both. It, it's a, a reputation strategy and a reach strategy. So with that said, let me get started here with reputation. You've probably heard me say this in the reputation presentation that I don't like to let clients go directly to the internet. Here's what happens. A lot of times clients can be dissatisfied about whatever um, and they go to the internet and they post these online reviews on Google Plus Local, the inspection directories and other places and that can really mess you up. Okay, we've had clients that had a first place on Google Plus Local and they had a big negative review right there and it really helps you lose business and we don't want that. So the best solution, in my opinion, is to have a private branded review page um, right here, and uh, they can come here. You drive all of your uh, prior clients right here to the uh, review page. They put in their name, email address, ranking, whatever they want to put in here, and their comments. Then good reviews, when you get good reviews, here's what happens. Hi, and thank you so much for leaving us a great review. Our company works incredibly hard to make sure that each individual customer gets a great first class experience. As a matter of fact, most of our customers that give us reviews end up leaving that same rating on another site as well. So what we've done is we've put a few other sites that are really popular that we're on and that you might be using on the left hand side of this video. We would like to ask you to leave the same rating that you give us on one of those sites too. This is just our way of doing our best to get out into the local community and make a difference with our services. So again, I want to thank you so much for leaving us such a great review. We can't wait to share it with our staff and encourage them to do a better job the next time that we see you. Thanks again, and please click on one of the sites on the left-hand side and leave that review again. It would mean a world of difference to us and our staff. Thank you. Okay, so these uh, links right here, Google, Bing, Yahoo, Yelp, and uh, Yellow Pages, those are all your accounts. Okay, so when somebody leaves a positive review, we feel comfortable that they will leave another positive review on the Internet. I mean, why would they come here and give you a positive review and then go to the Internet and leave a bad review? That just doesn't happen. Okay, so what happens is here, um, we, we trust them to go there. So now if you get a negative review, uh, here's what happens. Hi, and thank you so much for leaving us some feedback. Unfortunately, it looks like the feedback you gave us wasn't as good as we'd like it to be. Our company is incredibly focused on making sure that every single customer and client has a first class experience. And so what we've done is giving you some contact information below this video and we'd like you to communicate with us and let us know that how we can actually serve you and do it better. It's important for us to make sure that every single person we work with, we understand that sometimes companies do make mistakes, but our goal is to make sure that we correct those mistakes as quickly as possible. So please, feel free to contact us. Let us know how we can turn your not-so-good experience into a five-star first-class experience. We look forward to hearing from you. And again, thank you so much for the feedback, and we look forward to correcting it as soon as possible. Okay, so a negative review gets left here. Three, one to three star review gets left here. That's negative. Um, and we've had clients who've got negative reviews and have called the client and turned it around to a five star uh, a situation. So we want you to be aware of these things in advance. So you get notified or your customer support person, whichever, uh, gets notified when reviews come on your review page, whether they're positive or negative. And I will tell you, this uh, will really, really help you manage situations that you weren't aware of that are negative. Okay, so that's, uh, that's why we don't want people to go to the uh, Internet Direct. We want them to come to your private review page. Let's look at some directory listings because when we do um, private review pages, we have to get these things on the Internet. So let's just pull up a couple of these. Here is one from our Canadian uh, uh, friends. Um, this is Executive Home Inspections. Ron's got uh, 32 reviews here on this site that's important for the Canadian people where they come and look for home inspectors. And you can see we've got all of his reviews uh, right on here, 32 of them anyway, uh, on this particular one. So let's look at some other ones, insider pages, for example. Okay, here is Starmark Home Inspections in Charlotte, North Carolina, and Robin and John are here in the audience today. And um, this is uh, their reviews here. You can see five-star reviews on here. We built a directory listing on insider pages, and then we're posting reviews here for them as well. People come and look for reviews on these sites, and that's why we're building them. Okay, so what we do is we want to make sure that we uh, have the right directory listings built for you uh, for reputation marketing, and we'll get into that uh, in a few minutes. Here's another one right here um, where we have some good reviews. Um, okay, I'm going to allow that to come on. 
Okay, here's Discovery Inspections, and Gary is here in the audience as well. Um, this is one of their directory review sites that we built, and you can see he's got eight uh, reviews right here. Uh, Gary was very professional in all stages of the inspection. I'll be referring anyone I come across to uh, have home, uh, Discovery Inspections do their home inspection. Okay, so that's four squares. So that's another one of them um, where we have reviews. Let me just look here on Merchant Circle. I'll allow it. Okay, here's another one. This is Atlantic Building Inspections, Coach Carlos, and you can see that we've built directories and uh, we put reviews on here and they're five-star reviews. Okay, so we build directory listings um, so that we can get these reviews on the internet. Let's just look at one more at local.com. Yeah, come on now. Okay, and again, this is one for Gary uh, Sloan here uh, at Discovery Inspections. Okay, so here's his reviews right here. Um, and uh, this is, people come on here and look at reviews. I'm telling you, you saw in the reputation uh, presentation that we did, customer reviews, five star especially, influence buyer's habits. Okay, they will select you for their home inspector if you have good uh, reviews. And you got to get them out on the internet. Now, um, you know, that is the important thing. And the big risk is letting the customers go directly. You know, you probably heard the old adage that um, if you do something great, people don't tell anybody. And if you do something bad, they tell 17 people. Well, now with the internet, I mean, they're telling the world. Okay, so negative reviews can really, really hurt you online. So uh, getting a private branded review system and then building the directory listing and getting the reviews on there is really critical uh, for your online reputation and allow you to get a lot more business. Okay, let me just move on down here. I wanted to also tell you, and this is important for our smaller uh, inspection company clients, but it's also very important, really very important for our large uh, clients. Well, if you're going to provide fri uh, uh, reputation here, you need to provide five-star service. And what does that really mean? And how do you really do it? And how do I get my staff to do it? Okay, so what we've done is we've built a, a private branded training system. Right here is Coach Carlos's. And what happens is this is the Reputation Marketing Training Center. And um, what happens is your staff puts in their first name, last name, email address, and tell us what position you are in the company. Okay, so whether you're customer support, sales marketing, admin, management, owner, partner. Okay, and what happens is there's a series of videos in here, um, and the uh, support people, or whoever it is, watches them. They take a test at the end of it. If they score 80% or higher, they pass. If they don't, it redirects them to watch the videos again. Okay, and here's a video that talks all about it, about how to train your staff. So I won't bore you with that today, but um, that comes with the reputation marketing system. Okay, and it's very, very helpful because if we want to get five-star reviews, we've got to give five-star service. Okay, so that is critically important to us. So reputation online is just something that's very, very important, and it's getting more important every day. Without a, and you know, here's I said this in the reputation marketing portion. No reputation is just as bad as a bad reputation. Okay, because people don't want to do business with people that don't have online reviews. And they certainly don't want to do business with people that have negative online reviews. And this is one of those little safeguards we can put in place to help you manage the process. Okay, let's look on here at the next piece to be an online rock star to get your phone to ring more. And this is what this is about. This is really just about getting your phone to ring more. I'm going to just go here to Google Plus Local, and we're going to take a look at that. It used to be called Google Maps. That's probably how you know it, Google Maps. And they changed it to Google Places, and now they have changed it to Google Plus Local. Okay, here's Executive Home Inspections again uh, up in Canada, Mr. Ron. And uh, he's got, he got 22 Google reviews on his uh, site. You can see that he's a five-star rated merchant. We have other information about him on there. Okay, you can just click on this and you can see all of his reviews, okay? You can see more reviews, so the reviews just keep coming. Okay, so that is a very important thing. Look where he is in the number one position, okay? And he has 22 reviews, all right? So he's getting, because he's in the number one position, he's gonna get 53% of the clicks approximately. Okay, so what happens is he's got great reviews, he's gonna get the clicks, this is a formula for lots more business. Okay, get that phone to ring. Now remember, um, when your phone rings, it's your team's job to answer it and close the sales. Okay, you know, when people, we do reputation marketing and we do online marketing for others, I say our team's job is to get your phone to ring, your job is to close the sales. So when you have positions like this over time, um, you can get your phone to ring more. Now let me say this to you, results like this don't happen overnight. Okay, Ron has been a client for quite some time, and we work diligently on his account every day and all of our clients, and so um, these results don't happen day one. Let's take another look here at one of our clients. This is Robin and John again at Starmark. They're here in the audience with us, like I said earlier. 
and we'll just we'll just go in here and take a look at them. Their Google Plus local uh, uh, account. There we go. They happen to be in a number two position today. Results fluctuate day by day, and they've got a 4.6 rating, almost a five star, and nine Google reviews. And here's one of the things that's very frustrating uh, about the reviewers sometimes. I want to look at this. They have all good reviews, but because somebody gave them a four star, two, two of them instead of a five star, three of them, um, you know, it, it brings your review down, and you're not, you're not getting a full five stars, and that's very frustrating because look at this um, review. Uh, on a four star. I felt empowered. The builder was so cooperative when I showed him the report. There were things I used every day that I didn't know needed fixing. It was well worth the cost of an inspection. I know I'm going to get everything I need. And, and so she was completely satisfied, but she still gave him a four rating. Okay, I don't get that. Um, she probably just didn't know the power of a five star. Here's somebody else. They were extremely pleased, okay, uh, with the star marks work. And here again, um, you know, and, and but they give four ratings, and so that hurts us as a marketer. Now it doesn't kill us because we got when the people come and read the reviews, they're gonna say, "Why did they give him a four star?" You know, this this they had a fabulous review. Okay, so um, Google Plus Local is really turning out to be more important than um, your website because you can attach reviews here. Okay, we want to see Ron's website. We push here. Okay, here's his phone number, all right, and here we've attached the reviews to it. So now a customer can scroll down and learn everything they need to learn about Ron right here with this one link. So Google Plus Local is absolutely becoming more important than having your website indexed onto the first page of Google. Because remember, the, all, everything we do is aimed at getting your phone to ring more. Okay, online marketing is meant to get your phone to ring more. It's a lead generation strategy, and what we're talking about now is reach. Okay, really reach and reputation with Google Plus Local. Okay, so that's that. Let's take a look on, I'll close out a couple of these windows so we don't use all of our bandwidth. Now, with Google Plus Local, we also build directory listings. Okay, we build directory listings for um, your uh, reputation, but we also build directory listings um, for uh, Google Plus Local to support your Google Plus Local account. This happens to be Bing, and we built a, uh, a uh, directory listing here for discovery inspections, and we also have a review on here. Okay, we try to build, we build um, directory listings for reputation for the top 10 directory review sites first, and then we continue to build directory listings every month for you so that we can have you all over the internet. Okay, so here's the phone number, here's where they are, here's a review when they're open and that kind of thing. So uh, that was one that we had right there for, um, for directory listings for Gary. Here's one on Kudzu. Okay, um, and discovery inspections again, uh, right here they have one review on Kudzu. So we're trying to get a, a big number of reviews on each and every one because as we talked about the reputation segment, we learned that it takes six to ten reviews on the internet uh, for people to really start to trust you. And 72% of people trust uh, reviews, online reviews, as much as a personal recommendation. So reviews are very, very important and you can see all of the popular directory sites uh, we're getting our clients listings built and then we're getting reviews put on those sites because we want your phone to ring more. Okay, now that was directory listings and again they support both reputation and they support Google Plus Local. Alright, so let's take a look now for another tool that we use to get your um, phone ringing and that's the Facebook page and you should be using these very effectively, these tools as well. Okay, this is Southern Home Inspection Services Facebook page and what you'll see is we have uh, 672 people that like it, 307 friends and we're trying to really get a variety of information on our Facebook page. We understand who our target audience is. Um, we also understand what content they would be interested in. And we're trying to engage them here on Facebook. Now, believe it or not, and I bet a lot of you have the similar experiences, we get private messaged uh, and requests for inspections. Okay, so um, Facebook people just private message in, ask for an inspection. Okay, so we also do a couple of other things here. We want to put videos on here um, so that cusp or, or, or uh, our friends uh, come and watch them here. Okay, and we also uh, send backlinks from here to different places. For instance, you could mention a video on YouTube and drive them over there. Okay, you could have a story on your blog, put some teaser copy here, and drive them from Facebook back to your blog. Because we've learned that the more online properties that a, a property 
prospect is engaged with you or a client, uh, the more likely they'll use you and refer you to others. So we want to really tie in uh, your prospects and clients to as many online properties as we can. So what we normally do is uh, take a third of your videos and put them on Facebook. A third of your videos we put on YouTube, on your channel. We'll talk about that more in a minute and then a third of your videos on your blog. So you have cool stuff on each and every one. Um, and you can drive traffic or visitors. Traffic is nothing more than visitors. You can drive visitors from one of your internet properties to another. And it really is a very, very powerful tool. Um, Facebook is the 800 pound gorilla in social media. And even though Facebook has made a lot of changes, um, most of them on, in this area on your business page have been very positive. Okay, so um, it's very, very important that we do it, that we do effectively uh, Facebook. Okay, we put uh, all kinds of things on here, including testimonials, because our, our prospects need social proof um, that our, our inspectors are very good and we'll keep them from buying a money pit. Okay, so Southern Home, we post on there every day, um, and, uh, and, and that's really important to keep engaging your customers. And you can track how many people are viewing your posts and what kind of traction you're getting with the story. I will tell you that we're going to be working on, we're not going to be working on, we're working on a project now with some paid advertising with uh, Facebook. And we're testing to see how well it works before we roll those strategies out to you. So look for a lot of new things in 2014 uh, from the Savvy Inspector on Facebook Marketing. Let's take a look at another page. Um, this is Coach Carlos's page um, at Atlantic Building Inspections. You can see a little bit different look. Um, very similar, though, we, we manage this as well. And so we got content on here uh, um, for the Florida. Here's one with Carlos uh, right here, and uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, uh, so he's got the whole thing. Oh, here he's in his mask. Um, so we're putting all kinds of different information on Facebook pages um, in order to engage our target audience. So the first thing you have to do with Facebook is know who you're trying to market to. And then what you have to say is what would those people be interested in content-wise? Okay, and on the Savvy Inspector website, there's probably 30 uh, places that you can come and get content to share on your uh, Facebook page um, that would be appealing to your target audience. Okay, so that's really, really important. Let me close this down a minute. And I'll tell you, we're kind of going fast because we only have 60 minutes to uh, share this information with you and take questions. So please uh, forgive me for being the fastest talking southerner that you know. Okay, let's look on for YouTube for a minute. So we're just going to open up here on YouTube. And uh, this is Southern Home Inspection Services page. Um, if I was to view this as the public, then what happens is this video would auto start. So let's just do that for a second so you can see that. Okay, so this video is auto starting. Okay, now this right here, when you look at, take a look at this, I posted, I personally did this video that's coming up. I put it on there five years ago, and it has over 39,000 views. Okay, so you can see when we set up Facebook, I mean YouTube for you, what we do is we set up a channel. And you should, you should have a channel whether we do it or don't, or don't do it. You should have a channel. Okay, and it should contain different things. Like one of the things I did is set up viewer favorites. This is Air Conditioners Gone Bad I did several years ago, 41,000 views. Uh, we just looked at this one, which is right above. Here's one uh, one of our inspectors did, Bobby Beers, on new construction. Um, look at this, 79,000 views, uh, 5,000 views, 8,900 uh, views. So the reason I put these um, favorites on here was because when people start watching one of your videos, they just don't watch one. They watch a variety of them. And so what I wanted to do was put a playlist on there. And this playlist, again, was viewer favorites. Here's one, again, 41,000, almost 42,000 views. Okay, so there are a lot of people watching our videos. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to see, let's see if we can see our stats in just a minute. Uh, I'll show you that. Well, let's just show it to you right now on a video manager. Oh, I didn't even have to go any further look here. It was right here at the top left. YouTube, if you don't know this, has just changed the format again. So if you haven't gone and looked at your YouTube account in a while, you should, um, because when I came over here to um, get all the links and everything ready for this uh, presentation, uh, I noticed that Southern Homes YouTube page uh, had some stuff I was unfamiliar with, and we had to re retake, uh, re-put in this in header. Uh, so it was a big mess. We have 626 subscribers, subscribers and look at this. Uh, since this account's been going, we have 633,538 views of our videos. 
Okay, this is a very, very powerful tool, uh, YouTube. I mean, it is absolutely fabulous. You can put the URLs in there. Uh, this this link goes right back to We Inspect For You, so it's great for SEO. Um, and uh, YouTube is owned by Google. It's the second largest search engine in the world, and we're going to talk about why that's important to you in a minute. Um, so these backlinks, uh, the page rank or importance that Google places in a website, the higher the number, uh, the better, the more trust Google places uh, in uh, uh, that site. So, for instance, a lot of our clients' websites are PageRank three, okay, or PageRank one, or PageRank zero, okay. But good, but YouTube's PageRank is nine, okay. So when you get a backlink from a PageRank nine site, Google likes, wow, that's really that's awesome. Uh, they have a lot of confidence in that link. So um, it's really a lot of SEO love comes from uh, your uh, the backlinks on YouTube. So it's good for SEO, but it's also good to make your phone ring. Um, I, there's a gentleman, Tom Sansone, in the office. I, I'm sorry, in here in the in the uh, workshop with us. And Tom shared a story with me about how a gentleman came and uh, watched his YouTube account uh, or YouTube channel, and he got the business inspection and the home inspection. So be sure and ask Tom about it. He's here today. Um, so it's a very, very powerful tool. People watch a lot of views. Um, it takes a while to get the views up, and uh, you have to produce the videos correctly and all that, and we can get in that uh, at a later time. But anyway, so let's go here and um, make, do a little experiment, because YouTube has two very, very important functions. One is SEO love, and the other is you need to be in the top of the search engines for um, Google, I'm sorry, for YouTube, uh, because it's the second largest search engine in the world. I don't know if you know this or not, but when people go to do research on a product or service, they generally go to Google. Okay, and they do the research on it. But when it comes time to select a local vendor, more and more customers or consumers are coming to YouTube to find a local vendor. I mean, my aunt, 70-something years old, she needed some insulation in her farmhouse. Okay, she got online and researched it and uh, found out what she needed. Then she went to YouTube and uh, searched and found a vendor in her area and watched the guy do exactly what she needed on YouTube. She called him right up and he got the job. Uh, so even older people, younger people, more and more people are using YouTube to find a local vendor. Okay, so you got to know where you're coming up in the search engine. So let me just type in right here. Uh, let me just type in uh, Atlanta Home Inspector, and then we'll push go and let's see what happens. Okay, this is the search results, and what's going to happen is this. This is Gary Sloan here in the audience. We uh, Gary owns Discovery Inspections, and we manage his online. So he's in number one. Okay, VKC3 is Southern Home Inspection Services. So we're there. Okay, this is Gary. This is us. This is us. Okay, this is Bonnie and David Lelac, who are here in the audience today. Uh, there's theirs. Here's our video again. Uh, here's Southern Home's video again. Here's Southern Home. Here's Southern Home. Okay, this happens to be Kip McCullough. He's also one of our clients. He's not here today, but he's one of our clients. So this is him. Uh, this is Southern Home again, Southern Home again. Okay, this is Discovery Inspections, and this is, um, I don't know that person. Somebody else has snuck in on us, guys. This is Bonnie and David Lelac again. Um, Kip in Atlanta with us. He's one of our clients. Okay, so you can look on the first 20 results of, um, of uh, YouTube. Um, Southern Home Inspection Services has almost 50% of the videos in the top 20, and the other ones are our clients in Atlanta. Okay, so this makes it very, very powerful. Um, when somebody starts watching one of your videos, they come right over to your channel and start watching a bunch more. So being at the top of the search engines uh, is very important for us. Let's go over to Charlotte, North Carolina, and look at Robin and John's. Okay, we're, we're typing in uh, Home Inspection Charlotte NC, and what we're going to find out is Starmark Inspection. Here they are, number one. Okay, here's our good friend, Meg and Preston Sandlin. They're here in the audience today. Their video, their video, Robin and John's, Robin and John's. Um, somebody, Mr. Uh, okay, this is uh, Preston again. This is a video that we did at the workshop a couple years ago. Here's Robin and John. Here's Robin and John. Here's Robin and John. Here's Robin and John. And right here again, here again. So you can see, look at there. there and here's uh, Preston, uh, Robin and John, uh, Preston. Okay, so the fact of the matter is Robin and John and Charlotte uh, own a, a big, huge chunk of uh, the top 20 in the search engines, and Preston and Meg have the rest. Um, this, one or two other uh, strangers snuck in there. But this is very powerful because people looking for a home inspector in Charlotte come here, they watch these videos, and, and they get interested uh, in the uh, company uh, as somebody who can protect them from buying the money pit. And they start researching more, and then they buy. They make the phone ring. They call you. 
Okay, when you'll notice what we do here, we do a very interesting thing. And we always put um, the keyword phrase, and then what we do is we put the phone number and then the word call us. Call us is a command. You have to tell buyers what you want them to do. Okay, if you don't tell them what you want them to do, they don't do it. Okay, so we always use action commands. And we've learned from experience working with these videos that a lot of times they'll see this uh, a video when it's in the search engines, they'll see the phone number and they'll call you. They won't even watch the video before they call you. Okay, so that's one little take home you should take from uh, this presentation on video marketing is that you can see it here. You know, we just put a, a, a keyword phrase, a phone number, and um, then we, we tell you to call us, put a command right in there. Okay, I can't tell you how important video marketing and, and YouTube is to the home inspector. When you're out there on the job, you've got all of these great things that you can shoot. Okay, so um, take advantage of those things. The, you build know me, like me, trust me, and you establish expertise when you make these videos. We get these things on your page, we optimize them, we get them set up so that you dominate the search engines, and that makes your phone ring more. And didn't I say in the beginning that's what this is about, right? It's about making your phone ring more. Okay, so you can charge more and not have to deal with cheap Charlie. Okay, let's go to Twitter and let's look at a couple of accounts here on Twitter. This is uh, Coach Carlos's account, and um, uh, Twitter is a very important tool. You need to get local followers and make tweets. Now, we automate the process for our clients uh, that we do done for you services for, um, so we automate this process so they don't have to worry about it. Okay, so Carlos on this account has uh, 711 tweets. Let's look at one more that we've set up. Um, oh, oh, that was wrong. I'm sorry. Pushed the wrong button, folks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Now we got it back. Um, this is uh, this is Gary Sloan's again here at Discovery Inspections. This is his Twitter account, um, and you can see the last post we put on there 19 hours ago. Um, so here's one for November 13th. So we try to keep Twitter very, very active. Uh, he, Gary's got th uh, 251 tweets on this account. Okay, so um, that's a very important thing, Twitter. People don't realize that, how important it is, um, but it's a very, very important tool that you can get out. Here's one of the things that we just added um, for our clients of the lineup, and you should be doing it too. And it goes back, it's uh, Pinterest, and it goes back to what I said a minute ago about um, the fact that we have some very interesting things. When you're out on an inspection, um, you see all kind of crazy stuff. Okay, so what happens is we're putting Pinterest accounts together. It's good for two things. It gets visitors, it builds recognition, and also these are good backlinks for SEO. So it has two jobs, really. One of them is to um, get exposure uh, for you uh, and to establish expertise and know me, like me, trust me, but also good backlinks come from here. So you can put home inspection issues. These are boards, and, and these are pins. <laughs> Excuse me. And Seattle area pictures and then home inspection videos, uh, crazy things we see, home inspection tips. And uh, I don't know how Cliff got on here, but that's cool. Oh, inspector in your state. Okay, so we have all of our inspectors in the different states listed that we manage their done-for-you services. Okay, so that's the one for Jim. Let's look at Pinterest here um, for Coach Jeremy. Okay, we just set Coach Jeremy's up. And um, you can see he's got uh, a few boards on here as well. Um, so you can uh, grab his URL or go right to his website from here. Um, and he's getting backlinks in each one of these, and people follow him. So we're, we're setting these up for all of our clients now. Um, we, we, we know that you have the most interesting pictures in the home inspection business, and, uh, and consumers and home buyers are really interested in it. Um, I would, if it was me, uh, I would set up a home maintenance board. Okay, so there's tips on home maintenance. Um, so that you would appeal to your prior clients and others in the community that might not be buying a property right now. So we'll help you get the board set up, and uh, or we can do it for you either way um, for Pinterest. A very good addition to the online lineup. At first, I was uncertain about it. I thought it was going to be great for cooking and all these other things, but I wasn't really sure how it was going to be for home inspectors, and the more we started working with it, the more we liked it. Okay, one of the things that we're doing now is we realize that LinkedIn is becoming more and more important. People, professional people are on LinkedIn looking for a home inspector in your area. Okay, but what happens is they have to understand what's in it for them. Okay, so Brent is one of our new clients in the Dunfew Services uh, Department, and what we've done is we're helping him now with LinkedIn. Um, so we're trying to get it set up, make his profile better. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We're trying to get all the things in here that customers can do to convince themselves that Brent is the right person uh, to protect them from buying the money pit. Here's another example. 
This is Reed. Reed's right here in the office. I mean, in the crowd, in the office. Um, he's he's here. So um, you know, talk to Reed about it. But here is uh, Reed's, and we've been trying to gussy up all these different ones um, so that we can help our clients get more business from there. Okay, so um, that that's it. We'll be able to add in the future. We're working on it now. Some programming where we can add news feeds. In other words, posts. Uh, to your LinkedIn account, uh, information that could go on your blog or whatever. And I don't think we got it on Brent's already. I thought we did, maybe. Okay, no, we hadn't put it on this one yet. Okay, we're beta testing that to make sure it's going to work very well. Okay, but LinkedIn is a very, very important uh, thing, a very important tool to allow us to help you get your phone ringing more. Okay, or you to allow your phone your, your phone ringing more. Cl close those out a minute. All right, let's look at video marketing. People say, Ken, isn't video marketing and YouTube the same thing? The answer is it really isn't. YouTube, and it both involves video, uh, but YouTube is really about building a channel and getting your videos on the first page of the search results in YouTube. Video marketing is trying to get your videos indexed into Google. Okay, and what happens is, let's just look at one right here. We're back with our my friend Ron in Canada. And let's just look right here. We'll just put this search phrase in. Edmonton Home Inspectors. Okay, and so when we go here, uh, what you see, here's Ronnie's in the number one position again with his reviews like we showed earlier. But look right here. Here's his video. Okay, so uh, this video is indexed in the first page of Google, and it takes a while to get them up there, but um, this one is up there. And so what happens is um, uh, the phone number is in there. Again, it's keyword, a search phrase, Edmonton Home Inspections, and then the phone number and call us. We want to tell you what you need to do. Okay, so this is a great video that's in there. So video marketing is getting your videos indexed into the search engines. Now, if you go up here and you look at videos, okay, you're, you can have videos indexed here, and they just might not be on page one. Okay, and a lot of people use this. They'll use the images. Um, a lot of times when I do a search, and we were searching for a new fireplace. Okay, and what I did was I went in and t uh, typed in uh, a fireplace, Atlanta, Georgia, and then I clicked on images and saw a lot of them. But the same thing on videos. Look, Google will display your stuff there. So the more optimized we get them or you get them, um, the better our, uh, better chance they'll show up in the videos. But this one showed up right on the first page of Google. Okay, so that is a very good thing. Um, I'll tell you, th uh, on this particular one, uh, Ron has got a uh, number one position here with 22 reviews. He has a video, and he also is right here. Okay, so on a directory listing. Okay, so that's three listings on page one of Google, um, and that's very important. But you notice his website's not here because what Google does in many cases, once you get your Google Plus local account up into page one and your website's on page one, they do what's called a combined listing, and they combine them. And in this listing right here in the number one position in uh, the map pin A, this is, this is more important than having your website up here. And we touched on it a minute ago because you can attach reviews to it. And if you have good reviews, people can see everything they need to see about you right there. Okay, so that really is a beautiful thing. All right, that's video marketing, getting your videos indexed into the search engines. I want to say one more thing before I leave this. When you look over here on a search page, you see, okay, besides the, uh, uh, the five-star uh, rated people, you look on this page and you scroll down. When you see a thumbnail of a video, consumers gravitate to that and watch it. Okay, so having a thumbnail there in the uh, uh, search engine results really, really helps uh, consumers click on it or and take the action you want. Let's watch the video and call us to book your home inspection. Okay, so that's a good thing, video marketing. Let's look at websites. You've noticed that I've left websites and blogs to the last. I'm not saying they're not important. They're certainly important. Um, but Google, over the last 12 months, has been extremely volatile in changing the formula in who shows up here on page one. Okay, you could be here on page one today, and you could be on page six tomorrow. Okay, and yesterday when I did the research for this, looking where our clients were, um, the websites I'm going to show you were way up at the top of uh, Google. Then what happens is when I uh, went back and looked at them right before I made the video, they were both at the bottom of the first page of Google. Okay, so in one day. Okay, so you're up, you're down, it's a crazy thing. You have to take a long-term look at, at where your website's ranked. Okay, so that's why we do all of these other things to help get your phone ring. We are not going to rely on Google to control your business, okay? We want to be able to get you up in Google Plus Local and keep you stable there, and because Google's algorithm changes don't evolve, I mean, don't uh, involve the Google Plus Local. 
Okay, so once we get you to where we can get you up to the top of the Google Plus local, that's not nearly as volatile as um, uh, SEO for websites. Now, I will tell you, if we have to make a change, a major change, you move, you change phone numbers, you do something like that, if we have to make a change like that on Google Plus local, you will drop out of the seven pack. Uh, temporarily until Google approves the changes manually, um, and then we'll, we, be, we will be able to get you work back in there. But the fact of the matter is, website SEO is extremely volatile right now. Um, and 2014 doesn't, uh, I don't think it's going to be any different because Matt Cutts, who's in charge of it, has already indicated they're going to make even more major changes in 2014. So we have to do a variety of things to help get your phone ring, or you do, uh, whoever's managing it, whether we're managing it or you are. Um, you have to do a variety of things to make sure that Google is not controlling your business. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a look here about uh, website evaluation. When we want to evaluate a website, yours or your competitors, we go to uh, Majestic SEO. Okay, and you can too. You can set up a free account and you can uh, analyze your own website. Let me just go right here and type in this. Hold on, uh, um, sorry, wrong thing. I want to type in uh, our website. Let me just copy and paste this real quick. I'm going to speed up here. Okay, I'm going to drop this right in here, the domain. You'll notice that um, I didn't put any www or uh, any HTTP uh, colon backslash backslash because that's not what we want to look at. We want to look at just the domain name dot, dot com. This gives us a lot of information. We manage uh, our clients' accounts using this. Uh, with this site, we're looking at the fresh index right here, which is the last 90 days. Okay, and then historic index has been uh, since they collected data, since your website started. Okay, so we have 10,355 backlinks. And those are coming from 218 different servers across the Internet. Okay, and in the last five years, uh, we've developed 18,000 backlinks here. Okay, this link profile, uh, citation flow and trust flow is really about how much does Google trust your website. Okay, the higher the numbers, the better. Okay, and then what happens is we, we don't want to build a bunch of backlinks all at once. We try to have a smoother pattern. This was a little spike here. Um, I don't know how that happened, but we try to trickle in backlinks. Uh, uh, as we go. And of course, this is your server data. Then we can break down here, and you can too, um, how many links are follow or no follow. We, we've learned that no follow links from places like Pinterest and others are just as important in the search engine algorithm as uh, do follow links. Okay, and then we can tell you how many text links we have and uh, the whole thing, how many have been deleted, how many since the last time the, the website was crawled. This over here is what we call anchor text. Okay, this t on this one, uh, we used other. Okay, on this one, we used Southern Home Inspection Services. Okay, so we can analyze what anchor text we're optimizing your site for. Okay, so that's all this. We can tell where your links are coming from. Uh, okay, we can tell where we're linking to you. We can tell you um, when you review this, you can. How many new links you got? Okay, and see how we try to trickle them in. We got a little bit high here. We just try to trickle them in each and every week. Um, and wh which uh, links have high uh, trust flow? Look at this one. A citation flow is 46. So that's great on that one. Now, what we want to know is where are we losing backlinks? How many backlinks are we actually losing? Okay, we can see here that we've lost a few, a few, a few, but here quite a few, and this is probably where we built too many. Okay, so we got a little Google slap from them. We can tell again anchor text. We can tell you all the things, your link profile. Uh, summary. So we use this tool not only to evaluate your website, but we use this tool each and every month to review where we need to go with your website. Okay, and I can just show you another one. Here's a Coach Carlos. We handle his as well. And let's just look at uh, right here on this. We'll just put his website in, AtlanticBuildingInspections.com, and we'll push Explore. And you can see in the last 90 days, we built him 520, and he's got 2,824 backlinks there. A little smoother profile on backlinks. A server was really smooth. In other words, where are the links coming from? What servers across the country? Uh, a, a little smoother. This We try to make this really smooth across. Uh, I'm going that way. Again, we can tell uh, on the data uh, how many links he's got. Uh, no follow, do follow, good ratio there. Again, we can tell his anchor text, everything we could tell about Southern Homes. Now, when we're trying to get your website ranked, um, when you go back over here to um, this, uh, uh, Google, uh, you're going to notice, now this is paid advertising or pay-per-click here, um, but this is all organic search results. So if I've got to knock somebody out of here to get you on first page, we have got to have a strategy to do it. 
Okay, and so what we do is we take, and you should too, you could come to Majestic SEO, you can look at your competitor's website, see how many backlinks they have, what keywords they're using, uh, what anchor text they're using, and you could figure out yourself a strategy to how to knock their sales right out of your way so you can move up in the ranks. Because for you to move up, somebody's got to move off, page one. Okay, so that's a little website valuation tool you can use, MajesticSEO.com. Again, you can use a free account or you can use a paid account, um, but I would recommend you just use free. You won't use it enough to um, you won't use it enough to justify a paid account. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of websites, and you know we're we're talking about websites all the time. This is the type of website we build, and I know that in the presentation, does your website suck? Uh, that we did earlier, uh, we talked about this, but you can see how we really, when you look at these websites, how they stand out. This has the nine pieces of information that homeowners need, or home buyers need rather, to convince themselves that you're the person to, um, to protect them from buying the money pit. And of course, that's it. Videos, just like we talked about earlier in the presentation, I won't uh, bore you with that because you've heard it or repeat that. Same way on uh, uh, Ron's Home Inspection Edmonton, just a little bit different variation, different graphics. Uh, this one, Ron uh, does um, infrared. And so he called me up and he said, Ken, listen, I'm adding infrared. What can we do on my website? And so I said, okay, let me write some copy and all that, and uh, we'll get that going for you. So he's, we've added that to his uh, a site, and he does a lot of this uh, uh, infrared type of stuff. So we just got the copy written, and off we went. He was very happy about it. Okay, so let's websites. Um, website SEO, and I talked to you about it earlier, is very volatile right now. And so what I did was I pulled up uh, a couple websites. Um, this is uh, Review uh, Home Inspection Atlanta. And uh, yesterday, when I did the research, they were way up higher. But look today, uh, they're down in the, uh, this position almost at the very bottom. Okay, so I mean, that's, you know, yesterday they were up six or seven positions higher. Okay, so it is really volatile right now. Same way um, for uh, Carlos. Uh, he was way up high, and now what happens is he is uh, in the uh, bottom position on page one. So I know sometimes our customers get a little bit frustrated, but I said if I could control Google, I'd be the richest guy you know, and I'm not because I can't. Um, so what we have to do is when Google makes algorithm changes, we have to try to reverse engineer what they've done. In other words, what have they done, what have they changed, and we work through it. And sometimes it takes three or four weeks for your rankings to get back up on page one. But you, we, because we're working all the other things I've already showed you, it's not as painful uh, from an online marketing standpoint. So you have to take a long-term view of website SEO. Okay, That's just the way it is, the nature of the beast. I wish I could tell you it wasn't that way, but it is. And it takes us a while to get you up. In many cases, it's taken us six months to get a website on page one. Um, again, if I could control Google, I would, but um, it just doesn't work that way. Okay, let me just share with you here. Um, this is how we track websites. I know you don't have access to this uh, specialty tool, but we want to know where our clients' websites are and our own websites are, and you need to know that too, and you have to go and look manually. Um, but this breaks down, uh, this happens to be Southern Homes, um, and you can see our trends, and this is Bing right here, and we're up, 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 and Bing, look here, we're, uh, we're in position 5 on 11.3, uh, and today look where we are, we're at position 30. Okay, now Google is in the blue right here, okay, when we start on, on uh, 8.11, 2013, we're um, in position 15, okay, and, and t we're in position 12, and now we're in position 13, which you just saw. Okay, so we use these trends to track, <laughs> excuse me, and uh, manage your websites. Um, I can tell you by keyword phrase who's got what. Let's just take a quick look here uh, on this. This is um, Google, this is Bing, this is Yahoo, and here are the keyword phrases. Here are the number of searches for those keyword phrases, and here are where we are in the search engines, or you sometimes see it referred to as SERPs. Okay, so and this was scanned five days ago, and it automatically scans each week. Um, you can saw when we were up here on Bing, and boom, uh, uh, we're automatically off for some reason. So we'll look at that. But what we use this tool for is every month um, we sit down and go over each one of our clients' uh, online accounts. And we say, okay, what's going to be our strategy for this month to try to get them more uh, reviews or to try to get them uh, their Google Plus uh, uh, local up higher in the seven pack? Or what are we going to do on their website to get it going? Okay, so on this one, what we'll do this month, this has 320 keyword searches. We're in the number nine position, which means we're on page one. Okay, so one of our things will, will be here to take these three keyword phrases right here, the first top three, uh, 320 searches, 260, 210, and to try to move that up higher. 
Okay, so we'll apply online and offline uh, uh, marketing techniques uh, uh, to get that uh, up as high as we can. Okay, so that would be our strategy for this. Build on these. See for the top four. Okay, so we we build campaigns to make that happen. Okay, so that's how we track people's websites. Um, let's see, I could probably show you another one right here. This one, uh, this one's Coach Carlos's. It's not nearly as volatile um, as Southern Homes, uh, so um, he's got a pretty smooth line. You can see he was up here uh, in position seven. He slid right down to position fifteen, and we look today, he's in a, a position twelve or thirteen today. Um, so we manage all the things. We can tell what what's happening on each page. We can get all kind of detail reporting for you. Uh, that kind of thing. So um, it's a very, very important tool that we use to help our clients. Now, you, because you just have one website, you can go into Google and type in your keyword phrases. For instance, let's look right here at Southern Homes. You, if you were in Atlanta, you could type in Atlanta Home, uh, home Inspectors Atlanta, or you could type in uh, Atlanta Home Inspector, or whatever, Southern Home Inspection Services, whatever your company name is, and you can see where you are on the rankings. But you can see when we track as many keyword phrases on three search engines for every client, um, that just isn't possible for us to go in there and look. We just wouldn't have the staff to do that. So we use tools like this. It's called SEO, uh, Web SEO. And uh, uh, so, I'm sorry, Web CEO. So that way we can keep track of everybody. Okay, so that's, that's how we manage to know where our clients are at any one moment. Okay, let's look at um, uh, something else that's very important. That's websites, and that's what you got to have. But let's look at this. This is blogs. Okay, so let me just do this. Let me go right here to Atlantic Building Inspections. Okay, one of the things that happens is this content on this site is, is I want to say, fixed. And the reason I say that is because it's like Colonel Sanders' 11, 11 herbs and spices. Once they got that spice ratio perfect and the chicken started selling, why change it? Okay, so what happens is once we learned uh, how consumers consume this information, the nine pieces, we don't want to change this. Okay, you can see there's no navigation tabs at the top or anything. Consumers do one thing. They read this. They convince themselves that Carlos is right for them to keep them from buying the money pit, and they book. Okay, but down here what happens is we have some navigation buttons at the very bottom. Consumers don't see them, um, and this is our blog. Okay, because one of the things that Google does in the algorithm is reward your website for fresh content that's relevant to your topic. Okay, so what we do is we add a blog right here to the back. Okay, so we do a bunch of things here. We this the blog the mar, the target audience for the blog is um, real estate agents, our prior clients, anybody in the community who's interested in a home inspection, and we can also schedule right here. So it would be for home buyers as well. So we have all kind of interesting content on here, and we put um, backlinks in. We have videos in here. Um, this is meant to educate and inform. Okay, and this is where we do it. Now look what else we have on this blog. Okay, we have, um, this is where your review page is. What others are saying about you. Here's your, review, here's your uh, review page. Leave us a review. Okay, home inspection videos. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and so you can see down here on the side we have testimonials uh, uh, all right here. So when people come to your blog, they're like, wow, this is great. Um, and again, we have articles about all kinds of different things. Paint like a professional, you know, all kinds of things are in here. We have videos included uh, in each one. So the, we index and SEO this as well so that these uh, links show up in the search engines also. Okay, but your blog is meant for a much larger, wider audience than your website. Okay, so that's, that's the blog that gets attached to your website. Let's take a look at a couple things and then we're going to cut the video off and get questions. Okay, one of the things, let's see if this is going to work. Let's see. One of the things that we do, look at here. We want to get all of our clients, and we're working on this form now, the, where their picture, a thumbnail, shows up in the search engines. Okay, just like a video thumbnail, when we have the author's uh, information here, uh, uh, that really shows up. Now, this is a Google Plus post um, where Carlos's photo shows up because we have everything tied together. Let me just show you another one. Let me just uh, copy this and we'll go right here. This is uh, what shows up in the search engines on his blog. Okay, so right here again, Carlos is attached to his blog and right there is his picture. And of course, blog posts are all indexed into search engines. As a matter of fact, 
um, 91 of his blog posts are indexed into the search engines. Okay, so um, you can go right on down and you know read everything about it. But attaching the author's photo to the uh, to the URL and having that show up in the search engines is getting our clients a higher response. So we've been testing that like crazy. And here's my one of my own websites where um, I attached it as well, and we had the same results. I just typed in home inspection marketing. And you can see I have attached the caricature that I use because that caricature never gets a taller forehead. Just kidding. Um, so you can see I use it in my own marketing as well uh, for the Savvy Inspector. Um, okay. Let me just show you a couple of, one other thing and then that's it. Now, one of the ways we want to be able to do is we, and you should, you should do this too if you're setting that you're uh, uh, marketing up online initially. We buy a tracking phone number. We go to a phone company um, that we've worked with for years, and what we do is we buy a phone number in uh, our client's local markets. Okay, and what happens, we put that phone number on all of their online marketing. Now, why in the heck would we do that? We want to be able to share with a customer how many times their phone rings each month. Okay, so somebody comes to online marketing, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or your website or Google Plus Local, they dial that number that's online, it immediately shifts over uh, to your, um, into your uh, uh, um, regular phone number, and then we will able to be able to track the calls. And so let me just show you what we do, and you should be tracking this way if you're handling your own uh, um, stuff. Okay, this is uh, Coach William and Sherry at Certainty Home Inspections. This was uh, October's report, so it started in October and went on. Um, so here's the tracking number, and look at the uh, calls here. They got, let me see how many calls uh, from online work. They, this is just their Indiana, not their Kentucky, uh, 67 phone calls. Okay, and let's take a look from the online marketing. 25 minutes, 13 minutes, 2.6, 2.3, 6.0. 1.3, 5 seconds, somebody either hung up or didn't answer fast enough, 2.7 minutes, 11 minutes, 13 minutes. Again, you can just see them all the way down, okay, where people are calling them, 17 minutes, 19 minutes. Okay, so what happens is you're going to get some junk calls. There's no question about it, but you're also going to get tons and tons of good calls. And it takes us a while. If we handle it, and if you handle it too, please know it takes a while uh, for you to get all of this put together. Um, but you can see that by using all of the tools I shared with you in the last 50 minutes, um, how you can make your phone ring, and here's proof of it. Okay, here's one that didn't get pushed over, it's four minutes. Okay, so you can see all the calls, 29 minutes, okay, 32 minutes. So you get some, again, you get some junk calls, but you get lots and lots of good calls as well. So let's also look, here's the website tracking, where we go in there and tell you what happens. Here is where they are in Google plus local. Okay, here's your Facebook stats, five new followers this week, total of 771. Post views this week, 3,485. Look at this, post views this month, 52,000. Now, William and Sherry uh, actually post on theirs as well as we do, and they are very good at social media uh, and what they put in, and so it shows. But look at this, a lot of times you'll see a more male audience, but look at this, 41% are male, uh, average age 45, and the group 56% female. Okay, so even though it's a, a home inspection business page, we have a lot, a lot of female interaction. Okay, and so we can tell you, we can cut this data any way you want from Facebook and other, other places, but we do it here. Okay, and then here's Certainty's uh, YouTube video rank for the keyword phrases. They're in the number one position. Here's their YouTube stats. Uh, we get, they got 69 views on this video, 65 minutes, uh, average time almost a minute. Okay, you can go on down. It takes a while for you to build these things up. Remember, whether you're doing your online marketing or we're doing it for you, this stuff doesn't happen overnight. And if anybody tells you it does, they're, they're fibbing to you. Uh, we've been at this a long time. We have lots of clients in the home inspection industry and, and other clients outside the home inspection industry, and um, we're doing it as fast as anybody else. And I'm telling you, if they're telling you they can do it in 30 days, that's a lie. Um, so that's it. Okay, video ranking. Um, these are getting your videos ranked into the search engines, and you can see we're on page two with a lot of them, page one here. Uh, uh, you know, so we're just continuing to work, and we just, over time, add a video or two that's popular, and we start SEO in it, and we just work on it. So you come from nowhere uh, to uh, this one right here is on the bottom of page one. This one right here is on the uh, bottom of page one. This one's on the bottom of page one. So we just every month work on these things. Okay, to get you going. Okay, client directory sites. Here's the pl clients we build Google, Bing, Yahoo, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Super Pages, Insider Pages, uh, City Search, Hot Frog, Kudzu, Foursquare, Manta, and Merchant Circle. These are the ones that we uh, start with. Here's the review sources Insider Pages, Super Pages. Here's reviews on them 16, 7, 8, 2, 8, 
13. Okay. And our project manager tells us if there's an issue with a posting with a site or whatever right here, um, he lets us know all that. So that's tracking and how you should do it. Okay, so let me just um, share with you one minute here, and then we'll be finished. Um, let me pull this up. The Savvy Inspector Services Company um, does online marketing for home inspectors. It, Savvy Inspector Services Company doesn't take doctors and lawyers and other things. We have another company that does all that. We have content writers. We have uh, SEO team. We have uh, people who do social media. We have the whole team built just for home inspectors. And that's why the Savvy Inspector Services Company doesn't take anything but home inspectors. So we do Google Plus Local. Let's run through this real quick so you can see if we, you want us to do it, what you got. Uh, monthly optimiz optimization and link building. If you don't have Google Plus Local set up, we'll, we'll set it up. Optimize for your new website. Uh, build your directory list that says director. That should say directory listings to support your account. Reputation marketing, we set it up uh, and monitor your reputation monthly. We enhance or repair anything that's a problem. Um, we build you a custom review page. Um, we build your accounts on the top 10 directories. Um, we put up to 10 five-star reviews on those directories. Video marketing, we produce three for you the first month and one thereafter. If you want more, we can produce more for you. A number of uh, SEO videos, we do the top three to start with, and then we move from there, like I showed you on the uh, report. We distribute them to nine video portals. People think YouTube is the only video portal. That isn't true. Uh, there's eight others that really get good results. Daily Motion, Vimeo, Vittle, Vittler, uh, AOL uh, Video, tons of them out there that we submit to nine for you guys. Okay, YouTube, we set up your channel or optimize it if you already have a channel. We go in and optimize all of your videos that are on there because the ones that are on there probably aren't correct. Um, and so we get those optimized so that you show up into the search engines uh, of YouTube. Um, and we add and optimize up to 10 additional videos each month. So if you shoot videos in the field, which we want you to, um, we optimize those for you, get them on your YouTube channel, set up playlists, the whole thing. Facebook business page, we set, her up, we set it up or optimize it for you depending on where you are. We post relevant content three times a week, and we assist you in getting more local subscribers. Listen, you're a local business. You need local business. Okay, so if you've got out-of-town subscribers, you're not getting business from Facebook. We help you with that. Set up and maintain your Pinterest account. Um, we do it. We uh, post relevant content three times a week on your boards. Twitter, same thing. We set it up or optimize it. We post content on it three times a week. We often t post content on it more, uh, but a minimum of three times a week. Uh, set up and maintain your Google Plus uh, page. Uh, we set it up or optimize it. We put uh, relevant content on there three times a week. LinkedIn, we talked about how we do there. Again, we're hooking up the, the posts so we can make posts there. We build you a direct response website like one Coach Carlos had or Ron you saw in, uh, in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. You saw a couple of those. And uh, we build a custom blog and attach it to your website. We do the ongoing monthly SEO both on, on both of those. And then we do add content once a week on your uh, blog. Okay, so you, if you want a, us to handle your online marketing, you can do it yourself. You can certainly do it yourself. It, it's a lot of trouble, a lot of time, a lot of learning, but you can certainly do it yourself. But if you want us to do it, I bet you want to know what the price is, okay?